This is the final day of my Great Lakes tour. My name's Lila. I'm part of an organization called Crystal Weavers. Through the month-long tour of the Great Lakes, I had the privilege of visiting each area where the waters flowed from one lake to the next. I had the great privilege of being at the end of Niagara River, where the waters from Lake Erie flow into Lake Ontario. I made my way all the way up to the corner of the United States, where New York meets Lake Ontario, and where Lake Ontario meets Niagara River. So I would be north of Niagara Falls, which would mean we are way below the falls. Yeah, let's take a look at the water here. I'm currently pointing towards Lake Ontario. And what you see there, the building, the white building with the flags is the Coast Guard. And then up a bit on the hill to our right is the old fort, Fort Niagara. I came here because I was called to see the mouth of the Niagara River where it flows into the Great Lake of Lake Ontario. Lake Ontario being the furthest east lake of the Great Lakes, and Lake Ontario being the last lake that receives the waters from all the other Great Lakes. From Lake Ontario, they continue eastward through the St. Lawrence Seaway and to the Atlantic Ocean. So, a fantastic waterway here in the very northern part of the United States. Very sacred waters that flow through all of these waterways through the Great Lakes. And I'll be talking more about that. More about the very, very, very ancient, ancient histories of the sacred waters of this wonderful five-pointed water system. As a side note, what you're seeing here is one person's interpretation of what the Great Lakes region is all about. Much of what he writes about resonates with me. So here's the link on the top of the screen that you can check it out for yourself. It's more footage of the river coming from up from the lake looking upriver, which is actually south. I had the privilege and honor of being at the area where Lake Huron uh, flows into the uh, St. Clair River, which then goes down to Lake Erie. I am just so super excited to meet Lake Huron. Today I started my Lake Huron tour of my Great Lakes tour. Coming from Lake Erie, I came north through Detroit and I am now at the mouth of the St. Clair River where Lake Huron goes south through the St. Clair River, through the St. Clair Lake, through the Detroit River and eventually these beautiful crystalline waters make their way into Lake Erie. I am just so, so grateful to be here. This is the bridge that goes from the U.S. over to Canada. So we see Canada on the other side of the river. It's a gorgeous day here. From the mouth of the river at the lighthouse, I moved a bit up the shoreline to Kawadin Beach. And the following day, I continued my tour of the Great Lake, Lake Huron. I also had the great privilege of going up to the area where Lake Superior comes into Lake Huron via St. Mary's River. The entryway there, that is St. Mary's River that comes out of Lake Superior. So here we are on the body of water for Great Lake Superior waters meet Great Lake Huron. 
And here we see a cargo ship going past the lighthouse called Detour Lighthouse or Detour because of the rocky flats out here. Lake Michigan flows through the straits to Lake Huron. Here we are on what is considered the Upper Peninsula of Michigan, the UP. And we are facing the east looking at the Mackinac Bridge and this is the Mackinac Straits. And as we continue on here we see the beautiful waters of Lake Michigan. I had the fantastic privilege of spending a night here. It would be considered boondocking, dispersed camping on this shoreline of Lake Michigan. And I had the pleasure of being up against these fantastic high vibe cedar trees. Each one of those junctures felt very significant to me. Of course, it's the flowing of the waters. It's the honoring the flowing of the waters. And as I have been touring and holding space, visiting many, many different spots upon the lake shores, I felt the energy of the waters awaken.